Can you talk a little bit about, there's so many good causes out there, how you guys chose not just Cambodia, but the, the approach you're taking there. Yeah. So first, what do you do when you want to impact the world in a positive way? Um, we, we believe that one, you don't have to go across the world to do it, right? However, our, Im our desired impact is twofold. So first, of course, is, is increasing the level of gratitude, growth, and giving in, for ourselves, those we love most, and for our local communities, because really everybody wants to be fulfilled. They just often are tricked on, on what is necessary to achieve that fulfillment. So in general, we feel like we Americans, we have an abundance of resources for the most part, but Cambodians don't. But they do have something that we often don't have an abundance of. Second year in a row, they're just ranked the happiest people in the world. And it's a little bit odd given that 24% of their whole country lives in extreme poverty with that marker being a $1.90 a day per household. Usually that's some grandparents, some parents, and some kids as well. So it's a little interesting that we often allude to, hey, I need more stuff so that I can be more comfortable. And, and when I'm more comfortable, I'll be happier when that's clearly not the case for those in America or those in Cambodia. So for us, it was kind of two extremes. In addition, my older brother, he, uh, he learned the Cambodian language about 20 years ago. He fell in love with the people and he's been over to Cambodia a couple dozen times over the last couple of, couple of decades. And he knows the language in and out. And so when we thought about this, what can we do? We don't want to just be a charity that is helping people by giving them stuff, right? I mean, that's one thing to, to give someone a fish. It's a very different thing to teach them to fish. But we wanted to have the primary effort be to change ourselves, you know, and, and do it in a real palatable, palpable way. And so that's the, that's the double initiative. We're looking, we look at, okay, here's us, and we're wanting to increase our fulfillment. And here's the Cambodian people. And if we can take our resources and if we can take their gratitude, really bend them into more of a circular combination, we can do this loop where they benefit, we benefit, they benefit, we benefit. And when it's, it's like a spiral in the upward direction that should get bigger and bigger as uh, on each rotation. No, it's exciting. Super exciting. 